welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW Weekly Meal Prep. Let me just tell you how amazing the recipes are that I have in store for you this week. I have a delicious breakfast, a phenomenal lunch recipe, and a hands down low point but amazing dessert recipe coming your way. All of the chocolate fudgy goodness that you've been desiring on WW. So if you want to see what three recipes I have in store for you for this week's meal prep, just stay tuned. For breakfast this week, I'm going to be making breakfast wonton cups. I am so excited about these. They sound delicious. I've been wanting some sort of little breakfast cup, but just not your traditional egg cup. So let me show you what is in our wonton cups. You're going to need some ham or you could substitute another meat, a turkey, sausage, whatever it is that you want to use in your cups. Broccoli crowns, salt and pepper, fat-free cream cheese, wonton wrappers, and eggs. So let's get started on our breakfast wonton cups. So the first thing that we need to do is chop up our broccoli. We are going to chop it pretty small because it does have to fit into the wonton wrapper in the in the muffin cup. So I'm going to cut these up pretty small. I'm going to go ahead and cut up both. And if I don't use them both for the wonton cups, I can have them as a side dish. our wonton cup so I have my cupcake tray or my muffin tray here I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some non-stick cooking spray we are going to be putting the wonton wrappers directly into the muffin tin spots here so I have my wontons on the side and what I'm going to do is we're gonna put two wonton wrappers per muffin cup so we're gonna want to kind of fill it the best that we can with the wonton wrapper. We're gonna make a little nest here so that we can put all the goodness, the eggs, the broccoli, all that good stuff right inside. So let me show you up close, see how I've kind of made a little nest. So I'm gonna fill all 12 of these with two wonton wrappers. I'm kind of doing each side at a time. So I kind of pushed it up this side to start and then I'll come back in with the other side. And it's okay if it goes over the edge a little bit, it'll get nice and crispy during the cooking. So let's get the wonton wrappers into the muffin tray. Now, if you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. All right, next is the filling for our breakfast wonton. So I have three tablespoons of fat-free cream cheese. Mine was frozen, so I had to throw it in the microwave to defrost it a little bit. To that, I am going to go ahead and add in my sliced ham. I did slice up five pieces of the Hillshire ham. You can use whatever ham or meat you want, like I mentioned. You just want to make sure that you're still getting the same amount of overall points as I did with the ham. And ham is actually really low in points. So I'm going to kind of start mixing that in with the cream cheese. And then I'm just going to add in my broccoli. And I don't know how much of this broccoli I'm going to use. I want to have an even amount of broccoli with the ham and the cream cheese. And whatever's left over, I'm just going to use as a side dish. Or I may even top a salad with it. Because it is kind of nice to have this little extra crunch of the broccoli on a salad. So I think that's probably good for broccoli. So you could get away with one crown versus the two crowns because I still have this much left. So there is the start of our filling for our wonton cups. Once your filling is completed, we're gonna go ahead and spoon this into our wonton cups. And we wanna make it as even as possible. So make sure that you're getting, you know, an even amount of ham and an even amount of broccoli per wonton cup. And we're gonna fill these with this filling. You can go back and add more. Just make sure that you don't overfill right off the bat because you wanna make sure you have enough of the ham and broccoli filling for all of your wonton cups. 
so we are nice and filled look at that that looks so delicious so next up we're gonna go ahead and take six craft eggs to our eggs we're gonna go ahead and add in some pepper and again add as much as you like season it to your liking we're also going to add in some salt and I just have the pink Himalayan we're gonna whisk this together and pour it over the top understand that we get one chance one chance you you will never regret all right so i am going to take a little bit of the egg mixture just out of the cup and i'm going to brush it up the side of the wonton wrapper only because we don't want our wonton wrappers to burn through the cooking process and your eggs are going to puff up quite a lot during the cooking and so you are gonna fill this cup here with the egg so i know it looks a little bit sparse or sparse right now but it'll definitely puff up through the cooking process so brush those edges with some of the egg and then this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees just until these eggs are cooked completely through i just pulled the breakfast wonton cups out of the oven you guys these look amazing amazing highly recommend the egg wash on the wonton wrapper because look how brown they are i mean they're not burnt luckily but they got pretty brown with that egg wash so i think without that they would definitely burn so definitely follow that part of the instructions they smell amazing they look amazing i'm going to let them cool enough to be able to touch them i'm having two of the breakfast wonton cups per day so i'm going to get those into my meal prep container and i'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you the smart points So breakfast is ready. These wonton cups look amazing. I'm super, super excited. So each day I'm going to be having two of my breakfast wonton cups. You can have two of these wonton cups for five smart points on the green plan, which is the plan that I am following, or three smart points on both blue and purple. So this is a lot. These are nice, big, thick wonton cups, so that's great. And then I'm just going to pair mine with a fruit, some blueberries. So my breakfast is going to be a total of five smart points, or if you are following purple or blue, it is only three. Three smart points for this delicious, protein-packed breakfast. For lunches this week, I'm going to be making barbecue pulled chicken. I'm going to pair this open-faced on a slice of bread with some cheese, with a veggie, and some fruit. So let me show you what is in our pulled barbecue chicken. Of course, you're going to need some chicken breasts, about two pounds or four large breasts of chicken. I Mine is just now to thaw, or thawed, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this out on my food scale. You're also going to need some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna be using the G. Hughes Sugar-Free Mesquite, one of my favorites, minced garlic, an onion, and salt and pepper. You can also add red pepper flakes, but I do not like my food spicy, and I'm the only one eating this, so I'm omitting that. And I'm actually going to cook mine in my Instant Pot. You can cook this in a slow cooker, or you could do it on the stove as well, but I'm gonna cook mine in my Instant Pot. So let's get started on this barbecue chicken. So let's get going on this Instant Pot pulled barbecue chicken. So first I have my nonstick cooking spray. I am going to spray really well because I do not want anything to stick to the bottom of my Instant Pot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my barbecue sauce. I want about a half of a cup. I am not measuring because this is zero points. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball about a half of a cup of the barbecue sauce. You just want something to kind of coat the bottom of your Instant Pot. And then the recipe also calls for a third cup of water. I'm only going to add a quarter cup. I think sometimes it becomes too liquidy and I want this a thick, pulled chicken. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. Now I did measure it on my food scale and we are just shy of two pounds. It was actually 1.67 pounds to be exact, but I am not going to adjust my points. It's close enough to the two pounds that I figured into the recipe. So go ahead and add in your chicken and then we're gonna add some spices and some onion. 
We're going to take our onion. I went ahead and just sliced it into rings, basically like you would put on top of a hamburger. And I'm just going to place that on top of my chicken. This will get nice and soft in the cooking process. And when we go to shred this chicken, the onions will just blend seamlessly in with the shredded chicken. And it's so good. It really adds that really yummy flavor. And then I'm also going to add some pepper. And again, just to your liking, for pepper we like our food very seasoned so I usually add quite a bit and then of course some salt so I just have some pink Himalayan salt here so I'm going to add some of that and lastly I have some minced garlic so I have about three cloves of minced garlic and I'm just going to kind of spread that over the top of the chicken and then lastly, we're going to go ahead and add approximately another half of a cup of our barbecue sauce over the top. And again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. We can also add some additional barbecue sauce once our chicken is done cooking too. So just to get the desired barbecue-ness that you're after. So that should be pretty good. And then we're ready to get this cooking. So we're ready to get cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lid. Make sure you're on the seal, not on the venting. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and set this for 20 minutes. After it beeps, I'm gonna quick release all of the pressure and I'll be back to show you the chicken. So I went ahead and took the lid off. Look at how good this looks, you guys. Now there is quite a bit of liquid in here, but we are gonna go ahead and just take a couple of forks. Look at how easy that chicken just shreds. It just falls apart. So we're just gonna take a couple of forks and really shred up this chicken. And if there is too much liquid, once the chicken is shredded, then that's where we could go ahead and empty out some of the liquid and add that additional barbecue sauce. But I'm gonna shred mine and I'm gonna see what it looks like with all the chicken shredded because it will really kind of soak up a lot of that liquid in there. So there it is. I did not have to remove any liquid. I also did not have to add any additional barbecue sauce. I tasted it. It's amazing. So what I'm going to do is measure one half of a cup and I'm gonna have one half of a cup each day. So let me show you what that looks like in my meal prep container and then what I'm gonna pair this with and I'll show you my complete lunch and give you the smart points. my pulled chicken you guys doesn't this look amazing I'm so excited just so you know it will thicken up as it sits in the fridge a little bit too that's why I was okay with it being a hair on the thin side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve it with over a slice of this Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread what I will probably end up doing is toasting my bread putting my chicken mixture on top and then topping it with one slice of the Jarlsberg light Swiss cheese for one point and that way it makes basically an open-faced pulled chicken sandwich sounds amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and get my bread and my cheese put here into my meal prep containers hey, this might come out as total madness, but just wait. alrighty here's my lunches it looks so good you guys I'm so incredibly excited. I most likely will pair this with a veggie, probably some of the Trader Joe's Brussels sprouts. I just didn't package them up. I'll just heat them up when I go to eat. But what I have is one serving of the pulled barbecue chicken. It is two smart points for half of a cup on the green plan. I'll put the points here for the blue and purple plan. So I'm gonna have two points for that. I have one slice of the bread for two points, one slice of cheese for one smart point. So my open face pulled barbecue chicken sandwich is going to be five smart points. And then I'm gonna have a little bag of raspberries here for zero. And for my sweet treat, I'm gonna do my Choco Right peanut butter cups. I love these. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. They are so good. They're like a dupe for a Reese's. You can have both of the pieces. So basically this entire pack for two smart points. They are 35 calories a piece. I buy these off of the Nutrition website. There's a link down in the description box below. Click the link. You can go shopping hundreds of WW products there. So I buy those there. So that is two points. So this is going to be a seven smart point lunch. All of this for seven smart points. For 
for a treat this week. I'm gonna be making Mud Hustlers chocolate fudgy big boy brownies. You guys wait until you see the smart points on these and the ingredients are fabulous. I am so excited to make these brownies. I've been craving brownies, but I didn't want that like super sweet frosted brownie because I'm still kind of burnt out on sweets from Christmas, but I was feeling a healthier version of a brownie. So let me show you what is in our Mud Hustler chocolate fudgy big boy brownies. First, you're going to need some all-purpose flour. You'll need some protein powder. I'm gonna be using the only one that I have in my house, and that is the Devotion. This is the same one that Mud Hustler likes to use as well. You can use whatever protein powder you have on hand, but highly recommend Devotion. This is the Angel Food Cake. 20 grams of protein per scoop. It is sugar-free. Two grams of MCT oil, gluten-free, has a six enzyme formula and is bloat-free. You can have a scoop for one smart point. And let me just tell you, there is no chalky, there's no protein taste, there's no weird aftertaste. It's amazing. It seriously is the best protein powder on the market. Again, I don't ever have anything else in my house. I have the brownie batter and the angel food cake and I use it for everything from shakes to baking. So I'm gonna be doing the angel food cake. You can check out Devotion. I do have 10% off using the link down in the description box. So head over, pick this up. I use this a lot in recipes. So I highly recommend that you have both the angel food cake and brownie batter on hand. So we're gonna be doing that. Sucrin Gold, I buy this off of Nutrition. There's a link down below for that as well. Click the link and you can head over and check out all the WW friendly stuff from Nutrition. But that's where I pick up Sucrin Gold because it's the least expensive. You'll need some cocoa powder of the Trader Joe's, vanilla extract, baking powder, 100% pure pumpkin. This is what's gonna give it that moist, delicious brownie. Also, you'll need an egg. And lastly, some espresso powder of your choice. I'm just using this Cafe Bustello. You guys will not taste the coffee, I promise. The espresso just really gives the chocolate a rich chocolate flavor. I promise, I promise. So let's get started on these brownies. Let's make these brownies. So I have one half of a cup of all-purpose flour. So we'll add that. We're also going to add two scoops of the Devotion Angel Food Cake. Those are my last two scoops. So I'm gonna hop online today and order because I don't wanna be without that. And then one quarter cup of Sucrin Gold. It is honestly, you guys, the best brown sugar alternative, hands down, hands down. No weird aftertaste or anything. We're also going to be adding in about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm just going to eyeball that. And then I have two packets of the espresso powder because we want a tablespoon total of the espresso powder, which ended up being a couple of packets. Two eggs, I always crack those separately to avoid the shell. You guys know me. And then a quarter cup of the Trader Joe's unsweetened cocoa powder, and that's what's gonna give this that fudgy brownie taste. We're also going to add one tablespoon, so I have my tablespoon here, of baking powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in this whole can of 100% pure pumpkin. And again, that's what's gonna make these brownies moist, like super, super moist. You will not taste the pumpkin. I've gotten that question a lot when I've used this as the moisture substitute. You do not taste the pumpkin. It literally just makes your brownies really, really moist and full and delicious. So we're gonna mix this together. You do not wanna over mix. Just get it so everything's nice and combined. And then we'll be ready to put this into our pan. All right, we're ready. I've got my brownie mixture here. Looks delicious. I have my brownie pan and I went ahead and just sprayed mine with some nonstick cooking spray. So all we are going to do is add this brownie mix directly to our brownie pan, get it nice and smoothed out so our brownies are even thickness. This is going to go into your oven at 375 degrees and we're gonna cook these until it is cooked through and it should take around 20 20 minutes. I really need to tell you something. Is it feel alone in a room surrounded by people? I want to know if you feel a little out on the roof here with you. It all seems so distant. Once your brownies are cool, go ahead and cut them into eight servings. You guys, look at this huge brownie. The entire pan makes eight 
servings. So let me take one out so I can show you the brownie, the consistency, and give you the smart points. So here are our completed brownies. Look at the size of that, you guys. One whole brownie is one of those squares. So that is absolutely huge. I wanna point out, look at how fudgy and moist. It is so good. It was hard to get out of the pan. It is that moist. So amazing. So this is the size of the brownie on basically a salad or a dessert plate. Wait until you guys hear the smart points for this fudgy deliciousness. Okay. On the green plan, one eighth is two smart points. So this entire brownie, two smart points. On the blue and the purple plan, you can have an entire brownie for one smart point. Just another reason to buy the Devotion Angel Food Cake. It's so low in points, one point per scoop, and none of that weird aftertaste. So you guys, this brownie is one to two smart points. That's it. So here's what I'm gonna be having for snacks for the week. So of course, in the morning, like I do every morning, I'll be having my traditional Built Bar. This is what I have between breakfast and lunch. It keeps me full. It cures any type of sweet tooth that I may get mid-morning, and these are amazing. So this particular one is the Coconut Almond. It's one of my very, very favorite. It has real flakes of coconut, chunks of almonds, and is legit an Almond Joy. So if you are an Almond Joy fan, you are going to love this because it is a three smart point Almond Joy. Built Bars are absolutely a must-have on any type of weight loss or healthy eating journey. These macros are amazing. 130 calories, 18 grams of protein, 7 fiber, 3 sugar, and 5 fat. So that also keeps you nice and full. Amazing, you guys. I'm telling you, there are so many delicious flavors of Built Bar. If you're interested in my opinion on which ones you may want to purchase, just leave that in the comments below. But three smart points per bar, with the exception of the peanut butter, is four. Well worth it, my friends, because it has organic peanut butter in it. So I will pay one extra point any day of the week for peanut butter. So use my code here on the screen. Save yourself 10% off of Built Bar and free shipping. And go check their site out. And again, if you want to know my recommendations for flavors, just leave that in the comments below. And I'm happy to help. So my morning snack is a built bar. My afternoon snack is going to be one of two things. I'm either going to do one of these good culture individual containers of cottage cheese. You can have this whole container here for two smart points. This is my favorite cottage cheese. I don't know what it is about it. It's a very small curd. It's really thick. There's no runniness and it's so delicious. So I'm going to have that for two points and then I'm going to top it with one smart point worth of crouton. So if you have not seen my video where I tell you my top 20 favorite foods, this is one of the combos that I put in that video. It's so good, you guys. Just measure these out on your food scale, one point worth, crush them up, break them up, and put them on top of your cottage cheese. And this is one of my very, very favorite snack combinations, and it is only three smart points. I also will link my video for my top 20 foods down below. Check it out, you guys. Great ideas in that video. And then I may decide to have this as well, or maybe I may have this with my lunch, but I wanted to leave it as an option. So these are the Popcorners Flex. These are the protein crisps in barbecue. You guys, I love these. They're so delicious. 10 grams of protein per serving. They are kind of like a rice cake and a chip if it had a baby. Like they're a mix between those two and they're really, really delicious. You can have 24 tip chips or 28 grams, I would weigh it out on your food scale because you can sometimes get more than 24 for 90 calories or two smart points. These have great ingredients. They're absolutely positively delicious. The barbecue is definitely, definitely my favorite. I do buy these off of the Nutrition website. I find that that's the least expensive. I do not have these in my area, so I cannot go to my local store and purchase these. So I do buy these off of Nutrition. That link is down below for you guys. Check that site out. There is a ton of really, really good WW healthy products on there for a great price. So Flex Pop Chips or Flex Corners Pop Corners. Wow, Jen. Pop Corners Barbecue. My favorite cottage cheese and croutons and Built Bar. These are my snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I'm so excited that I'm able to include the points for all three plans for you just to make your life a little bit easier. All of my recipes are over on my Facebook group under the files tab. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, make sure that you head on over and join us. All my recipes are always linked under the files tab. 
great support, people there to answer your questions, be your cheerleaders, vent to if you need, and just a really, really good extra support system on your weight loss journey. Also, my recipe is linked down in the description box with all of the other discount codes, special links, my favorite things that I can offer to you. So make sure that you're checking out the description box below. And also, if you're new, welcome. If you're new to WW, welcome. You are in the best place that you can possibly be to start your weight loss or your healthy eating or healthy living journey. So welcome, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. That way you're not missing out on a single one. Of course, give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Let me know which of these three recipes are you most excited to try. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams